What's going on ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the video today. Today I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the new Wampa Fruit G Fuel reskin. So this is actually to celebrate the 25th anniversary of Crash Bandicoot and about a year ago they released the original uh, Wumpa Fruit tub. So here is the original tub of Wumpa Fruit and here is the new tub. And just to let you guys know how much I have enjoyed this flavor, uh, you know, this was my number one for multiple months, but yeah, this one's totally empty. That's how much I enjoyed this one. So we're going to be comparing the tubs and I will open this one up and give it an updated taste and thoughts. But first I wanted to go ahead and say thank you everybody for using code SHOCK lately on G Fuel. We should be getting a 30% off real soon here. Hopefully if we get that Naruto flavor this month. So hopefully if we get that flavor this month, uh, code SHOCK should be 30% off for it. But I will keep you guys updated. But thank you everybody for using code SHOCK and also using code SHOCK14 in Fortnite. Huge shout out to all of you guys using that. I've been playing and streaming a little bit of Fortnite lately and shout out to all you guys using that. If you tweet me using the code SHOCK14 in Fortnite in the item shop, I will enter you to win a G Fuel tub. I've been starting to do a little bit of that. I don't really usually promote that code much, but for you guys that do use it, I will enter you into win a tub of G Fuel. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and take a look at both of these tubs here. So. Here they are. So we've got the new Wumper Fruit reskin and we've got the original Wumper Fruit tub here. Now, I'm going to be honest, right off the bat, I think I like the new one more. I definitely think I like the new one more. Let's get a look uh, at the old one here. So it's kind of got like this just spacey black background, you know, with uh, the Wumpa Fruits, with which Wumpa Fruit, if you don't know, it's it is a sort of man-made video game fruit. It's not real. Well, in the in the video game it is. But in real life, Wumpa Fruit is not a real thing. It is a apple and mango. That's what it's supposed to taste like uh, in the game. So, as you can see, pretty plain, pretty simple. Not much going on here on the original one. But in the new reskin, I gotta say, I like it a lot more. So you've got so much going on here. You got other characters going on. Look at that, we're in like a jungle here. And then what I also like about it is that I do like the text a little bit better. It was really hard to read the original one, but the new one is definitely easier to read. And then also I like how the bottom is not just white, it's got some color going on to it. I do like that as well. And as you can see right at the top here, it says 25th anniversary of Crash Bandicoot. So this one isn't necessarily inspired by the one that this one, this one was like a game that was coming out, Crash Bandicoot 4, it's about time. This one is just like the overall inspired by Crash Bandicoot. Here is the bottom of the tub if you guys wanna take a look. Here is the top. And then if you guys wanna take a look at the label, I actually showed this one side by side if you guys wanna take a look. I don't think there's any differences going on with these. I mean, I will take a peek but I don't think there's gonna be any difference whatsoever with the formula. They're both the 15 calorie. Yeah, looking exactly the same to me, ladies and gentlemen. Looks like they did change a few things with the newer tubs. The QR code has some different text, a little bit bigger, um, you know, some slight changes here and there. You've got like some licensing information at the bottom of this one, instead of it being over here. So, you know, some slight changes here and there, but nothing too insane. Looks like the company of the tub did actually get changed, if you notice that. Looks like some sort of a different branded company for the tub. Here's the new one, here's the old one. All right, guys, here we go. Let's open this baby up. I usually just take my fingernails and go right across here. Nothing too big to it, honestly. Also, I noticed a few guys got the shock hoodie today, so awesome. If you guys do get your shock hoodies, make sure to tweet me on Twitter um, if you did get those. Because I think we had two people tweet me today that used uh, that got their shock hoodies, so that was awesome. There is the inside. The Wumpa Fruit Powder has always had a little bit of an orange tint to it. 
All right, there we go. I am gonna go ahead and take off the top part of this scooper just because that's for funneling like into water bottles and I don't use those usually. Um, and you don't wanna fill it up to that. You wanna fill it up to here instead. That is one scoop. All right, guys, so I've got my water. Here's how you make G Fuel, 60 ounces of water, a few ice cubes. That's usually what I prefer. I'm using a winter white shaker. I usually always use those. So here we go, we got our shaker. We're putting that in there. And let's go ahead and mix it up a little bit, ladies and gentlemen. All right, guys, so here is what Wumpa Fruit is looking like in the shaker all mixed up. You got like this yellow kind of going on here. Kind of a relatively close to a mango. You know, you definitely, if it was just apple, obviously it would be a lot lighter. Uh, but this is definitely showing that mango in there with that apple. Well, let's go ahead and give this a taste, guys. I've not had Wumpa Fruit in a while. Let's see what I'm thinking about it in 2022 now we're in. So the smell of Wumpa Fruit is so good. You know, I, I would say Wumpa Fruit is on that same, uh, like, same level of hive nectar. Hive nectar, it's sweet, it's fruity, it's real tasting. That is what this has as well. You know, I get that mango. I get that apple in the smell. Let's go ahead and give it a taste here. It tastes like you're drinking juice. Like real juice out of a jug, just drinking it. The word that I use for something like this is succulent. I don't know, it's mighty succulent, let me tell ya. Mm. It's just, it's the same thing with hive nectar. You know, now, now that I've had hive nectar, um, you know, we really didn't have another flavor like this until hive nectar, I think. This is very hive nectary, you know. Mm. I would say it's a little lighter than Hive Nectar. Um, in, turn of, in terms of a mango and apple, like percentage wise, this one's a hard one to figure that out. I think smell actually might be a little bit more apple now that I think about it. I think back then I said there was more mango smell, but now that I think about it and I've had it, definitely more apple smell, but it could also be just because apple is a stronger smelling smell rather than mango. Definitely more apple though in the smell. And the taste, hmm, I don't know. Could be half and half, but I do also am kind of leaning on the side of more apple in there and a little less mango. Um, I think, like I said, I said the opposite last time, but now that I've had more time with this flavor and a year later, and I've had a lot of other people's opinions come in, I do agree with you guys when you say that there's more apple in this than mango, and I kind of do agree with that. Definitely getting some more apple in here in the smell and the taste versus mango. And like I said, they could have half and half amounts, but mango is just a lighter tasting and smelling thing compared to apple. Uh, bro, Wampa Fruit's just so good. It, it's literally, bro, it is such a good flavor in my personal opinion. It's so real tasting, it's sweet, it's good. I mean, there's nothing really to hate about it. I mean, I guess if you really don't like real tasting things, you might not like this, but like, I would say right now today, updated rank 9.2 out of 10. I think it gave it like a 9.5 out of 10 when I first got it. And I still definitely agree with that. But now that we got some other competition like Hive Nectar, you know, some other things in there like this, I think it does go down a little bit. <clears throat> um, you know, it's hard to say. I would have to try Hive Nectar side by side to sort of decide which one I like better. Right now, I think I still like Hive Nectar a little bit better. So I think I'm gonna keep that 9.5 that I have on Hive Nectar and a 9.2 on Wumpa Fruit. These flavors are literally my top threes. Like these are insane, ladies and gentlemen, just so you know. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think it's gonna cover up my updated review on the Wumpa Fruit G Fuel flavor in 2022. Absolutely love it. Highly recommend it if you like apple or mango and if you like sweet stuff um, and real fruit tasting. Now, some flavors that uh, I would say if you like those, you'll like this. Hive, if you like hive, you're gonna love this. If you like eh, peach mango, if you ever had that, I think you're gonna like this. I mean, maybe if you like mega potion, you'll probably like this, but they're kinda, uh, I don't know, mega potion. 
basically, it's a mango jackfruit. And it's kind of stinky, kind of weird tasting. Um, but I think if you do like that, I think you might like this as well. Another flavor, if you like scorpion sting, I think, you li I think you'll like this. If you like battle juice, I think you would like this. Um, if you like star fruit, I think you would also like this as well. Maybe Bahama Mama. You know, I think anything with like that orange, the peach, you know, peach rings, uh, the mango. I think if you like any of those flavors that have those in them, you're going to like Wumpa Fruit. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for using Code Shock on G Fuel and Code Shock 14 in the Fortnite IM shop. Make sure to tweet me a picture or Instagram or Snapchat of you using Code Shock 14 in the item shop and I will enter you guys to win a G Fuel top because I've got a ton to give away and I've got collector's boxes as well. If you guys want to add me up on Snapchat, I'll put up the code right on screen. Don't really promote that much either, but thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I will catch you in the next video. Peace out.